word of caution for anybody using Christian Light Education Math. We just finished the level one. We're moving into second grade now. And if you were using the addition and subtraction flashcards for first grade, let me show you what's about to happen. So unbeknownst to me, when you move into the second grade level, you actually have to reorder all of your addition and subtraction flashcards because like I've shown you in previous videos, grade one flashcards are labeled in blue. That same flashcard's gonna be used again in grade two, but they've just labeled it in the red. So now I've had to go through and as crazy as this looks, there's actually a method to the madness. Like these are all of our grade two B cards. Here's my D pile. You get the point. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put these all in one big stack, put them back in the box. And then in my teacher's guide, this is what prompted me to do this. Cause I was like, wait a minute, something's wrong here. When I was getting ready for our lesson today, you can see right here, lesson preparation, pull out your A flashcards. And I was like, oh, uh, I don't have A flashcards. And then it dawned on me, oh my goodness, I have to put them all in a different order now for second grade. So when I opened up my addition and subtraction flashcard box, it literally says it right here at this bottom paragraph right here to use these cards for 200, which is second grade math, you have to manually resort the cards into groups A through N. So if you are about to sit down and start your very first second grade lesson with Christian Light Education, give yourself an extra like 20 minutes to, to resort through all the cards. And then the letter A cards, while I'm sorting, um, my daughter, she actually lined them up around the room and she is doing her own little activity. You want to show them what you're doing? Yeah, go ahead. Nice. Okay, so we've got everything sorted. Look how beautiful the first grade leveled cards. I'm going to keep these because I'm using this again with my middle daughter coming up when she starts first grade. So I think I'm just going to like stick those in the back of the box. But then you can see we've got our A flashcards, B, C, D, E, F, G. And that way I can just go into the box and pull out whatever letter group we're doing for that week. Woohoo! 